Welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning how to use the spot drill feature. So we're basically going to be spot drilling this hole and this hole right here. So to get started on that, make sure you have your previous exercise open. And uh, go ahead and go to the left side right here where you see the contour. This is what we used before. We used the contour. Right underneath it, you'll see a drill tool path icon. So go ahead and left click on it. And you're going to see a drill point selection appear. Now for that, what you need to do is select the two holes. Now to do this, remember, uh, depending on which hole you select first, this is what you, this is how the order that your tool uh, will be drilled first. Your holes will be drilled first. So if you select this hole and then this hole, so it will drill this hole first and then this hole second. So let's go ahead and get started by left clicking on this circle and then left click on this circle. And you see there's a little point right in the middle of the circle. That means you just selected those two circles. So when we're done with this, click on the check mark, and you'll see the options for the drill uh, appear. So to get started, we want to choose the uh, tool for it. So go ahead and left click on tool, and then go to filter. Now once you go to filter, you're going to see it's actually already selecting the drill, but we don't want a drill, we want the spot drill. So go ahead and click on drill to unselect it, and then go to spot drill and left click on it. Now go up here to the tool diameter. And make sure it's equal 0.5 already because we're going to use a half inch uh, spot drill. Go ahead and click on the check mark button. And to check on that, of course, go back to your drawing. And just make sure that this hole is 0.5 in diameter. There you go. That's how you know how big your tool is. So go ahead and minimize the drawing. Now, for the feed rate, make sure you have about 30. 30 to 36 would be okay. So 30. And then for the spindle speed, you want to choose around 4,500. That's your normal feed rate and spindle speed for uh, using the material aluminum. Now underneath comment right here, you can choose any comment you want. So for example, you can type in drill or spot drill. And then when you're done, make sure you... Now we still don't have the tool selected, so we want to make sure the tool is added over here. So go ahead and select tool library and click on half inch spot drill. Remember we filtered it, filtered it earlier. So go ahead and click on the check mark and then you'll see the half inch spot drill appear. Now go ahead and click apply and then go down to cut parameters. Now you want to make sure that drill counter bore is selected. Now dwell is the time that it takes for the drill to come down and this is how long it will stay uh, over here basically in the bottom position. So if I change that to one second, it's going to stay down for one second. It's going to stay drilled down, spinning right here for one second. So when we're done with that, go to link and parameters. And for that, you want to make sure the clearance is checked. You always want to make sure the clearance is uh, there. And you want to go down here to depth and make sure you have about negative 0.75. Now remember, in that area, we're already drilled down uh, half an inch. So if you chose half an inch, the drill is, gonna, is not going to quite reach the surface. So make sure you have negative 0.75 chosen. Now for sub-program, you, you can check that only if you want to use this same program somewhere else in, uh, during your main program as well. So say you want to use it three or four times the same kind of drilling. You choose sub-program and this way it saves it for you. So go ahead and click on apply. And we're done over here, so we're going to click on the check mark. And let's go ahead and test that out and see how it looks like. So I'm going to go up here to uh, verify selected operation. And go ahead and play. And it's going to machine my first path for me. And then it should drill the two spot drills. There you go. So when we're done with that, just click on the check mark. And you just learned how to do your spot drilling.